track cast. The galaxy's most unpredictable Star Trek podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. If you're here in the live studio audience over on Discord, you've managed to figure out which way this Sunday we were going to record and actually uh, have you participate yeah. uh, every day. You used your decoder rings to find us. Yes, you did. We uh, we change it up all the time. It's just uh, who knows what we're going to do. Um, we're trying. We're trying. We're trying. Yeah. We're trying. Yeah. We're going to name for effort. Uh, all of a sudden, you got totally muffled, Dan. Daniel. I don't know what happened. Your audio was perfect uh, just a minute ago, and then it just went to... We're going to try to figure it out. We're going to be great. It'll be awesome. Like that. How's this? Is that better? Still the same. Okay. I'm While Daniel's messing that. with that, Dan, how have you been this last week, sir? Uh, It's autumn. It's officially autumn. Yeah. Um, leaves, are, leaves are starting to fall. Um, test, test, test. It's cold. Yeah. Built a fire this morning. Oh, nice. Cold. Nice. You know, yeah. Election signs are out, you know. Mm. Pumpkin spice, apple cider. It's it's autumn. Yep, definitely. Hoodies, hoodies. You know, yep. that's, I like hoodies. Yep. If I could wear hoodies year round, muffled? I probably would. Go ahead, Daniel. Do I sound muffled still, or am I good? You're good. Whatever okay. you did, there you are. Don't don't move a muscle. Just sit back yeah, and still. I'm not touching anything. Hold still for 57 minutes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know. This one could be a longer episode than 57 minutes. We'll see. We had a whole bunch of surprise things hit us this last couple of days at New York City Comic Con. Some trailers that came out, three mm -hmm. in total. Surprise. They actually said something about disco. Um, so we'll get into all of that and more as we get into, uh, I guess, get into the news. Right, Daniel? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Because I'm looking at my uh, I'm looking at my handy dandy outline here that I made with you know what? with post-it notes Hold from on. Scott. Before... Yes, yes. <laughs> I can't read it. Actually, it's too bright. Actually, before we get into the news, oh god, you're we messing me do up. Our sponsorship. Ah. Yes. That's right. Because we are sponsored by Toy Inc. or Toink. Toink. We're uh, Toy Inc. <laughs> Toy, Toy Inc. Yes. <laughs> Robin Williams is going to come back and. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yes. Yeah. T O Y N K, Toink, where fandom lives. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we are sponsored by them. Dan, I believe you received a, a gift recently from uh, Toink. I did. I did. And, you know, one of the uh, fun things about it, the box uh, was addressed to TrekCast, Galaxy's Most Unpredictable Star Trek Podcast, hyphen Dan Lombardo, and then my address. Yeah, so, I mean, that was. That was funny. That was fun. I mean, if my mail carrier uh, doesn't know I'm a geek, they know now. Uh, right, right. <laughs> so I picked. Yeah, let's see what uh, you got. I picked, what is it called? Engineering Star Trek, The Next Generation, 100 piece engineering field kit tool set. So nice. I'm going to do, do my best. Yes. So hold this yes. up. You know what? Let me take it out of the plastic. You could probably see your, it. Your very best QVC right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I chose this not because I need a tool set, because no, you're, you know you're quite I handy don't. With the skills, you know what I mean? I don't. I have I have many I have many tools, but mm -hmm. because I mean the case that it comes in, that's a 24th century uh, Starfleet engineering case i mean that's what jordan yeah. carried around the ship for seven years yeah so mm -hmm. give you a picture of the back i mean it's a functional tool set yeah it's um, real tools it's, it's good like little it's house, real around the house tools yep says tools included one piece toolbox uh six inch wire cutter pry knife mini suction cup magnetized bits holder uh prolonged bar nine millimeter utility knife steel ruler wow. self-sealing stem bolt Metal pry bit. Self stealing yeah. symbol. There's, there's no, there's I was going to no say. Self stealing symbols. Yeah, Where's yeah. the emergency hyper spray? Hypo spray. But, Where's the. They, uh... should, they should have put something in there. They just, really should have. Just, just write self stealing stem bolt. It doesn't have to do anything because nobody <laughs> knows what they actually do. Yeah. Uh, right. Electrostatic ring, uh, suction cup, plus SIM card tools, anti static cloth, plastic pry bar. Pry tools, metal pry bar, precision tweezers, 
Uh, that's to work on some electronics. That's pretty. Yes, that's yes. pretty good. Spud, spudger, whatever that is. A spudger. Uh, four pieces spudger. I don't know what a spudger is. Is there a plumbus uh, in there? Uh, I don't see a plumbus. <laughs> I know what a plum. I know what a plumbus is. Is there, is there a power decoupler? I think. I think. I think I know what a plumbus is. I mean, when, plum is like the opposite of level, right? Level is like this. Plum is straight up and down, right? Right. Is a plumbus, something you use to yeah. figure that out. No. Or are you just busting? All right, then I don't. I, know. I thought you were about to do the the, the sign of the cross with your hand signals. Yeah. I'm yes. blessing Chad. That's what I'm doing <laughs> right there. Work. Yeah. Plumbus is from Rick so and Morty, so no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, okay. But it's got cable ties and 54-piece precision screwdriver bits. That's so, awesome, man. I mean, you could see it's it's full of stuff. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool. It's, that's yeah, pretty it's cool. It's full of stuff, but at yeah, the that's... same time, at the same time, I mean... You know, if I yeah. go to a Star, if I go to a Star Trek convention, and I decide to wear my 24th century uh, gold and black engineering uniform, mm-hmm. I mean, this is what I'm putting my lunch in. I'm going to be honest. I yeah. didn't buy it for the tools. I bought it for the case, or asked for <laughs> it for the case. They donated it to the show, which is which is awesome. But I yeah. mean, this thing, this thing looks cool. That's very cool. I mean, it's a real. Tool wow, set. Yeah. Yeah. it's a real tool set, but damn it, it's a Starfleet issue tool mm-hmm. set. I mean, this is that has to go in what... the shuttlecraft at all time. <laughs> That's oh, you know, yeah. what? I'm gonna keep it right here. This is you know what's going in yes. here? The emergency rations. I'm gonna put Grinnell yes, yes, MREs. Yes, <laughs> yes. Gentry you know, in the and, and, and Tony... go ahead. Tony's got all sorts of cool stuff like that, including some uh, Rick yep. and Morty merch, like Chad was saying. Yeah. I mean, it's where fandom lives, so, like, they've got it a is. ton of stuff. It is. Yep. Gentry this over is in the chat is saying that we should take that with us to the next convention so we can use it to dismantle the other podcasts' booths. That's, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> I am all for that. Oh, Lord. You know how... Man. <laughs> and, I mean, it says right here, meet sir exceeds ANSI standards. So, I mean, it's legit. There you go. <laughs> meet sir exceeds There you go. Yep. Uh, so, See, they had a the perfect app. opportunity there that they missed. Meets or ex- exceeds Starfleet uniform code, whatever you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know yep. whatever the code is for the. Oh, it says it's it says right here uh, functions within established parameters. There you go. There you go. <laughs> isn't that what data? Isn't that what data yep. has to say all the time? I'm yeah. Yeah. Yep. Established parameters. Yep. Yep. Yes. So, Zephyr Cochran um, approved. If I look. <laughs> If I look excited about this thing, it's because I'm excited. Yeah, about this nice. thing. you should I mean, be. That's amazing. I mean, I like, I like stuff like this. Yeah. I like stuff yeah. where, you, you know, not like people collect props. People mm-hmm. get get all crazy about screen used props. I don't care if it's screen used or not. But I like having full size versions of 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 things from. TV and movies. I have a Captain America shield. I have a Batleth. I have an Infinity Gauntlet, and uh, you know, this thing's going right next to all of them. So, nice. Toink, nice. Toink, check them out. Toink, it's yeah. where fandom lives, and uh, they're yeah, sponsored for the show. Uh, so, free, get one free on drinkware, kitchenware, puzzles, pins, and more. They've also buy uh, if you get uh, fifty dollars in purchases, you get a free pin and free shipping in the continuous U.S. So that's toink.com, yep. T-O-Y-N-K.com, T-O-Y-N-K.com. Cool. Boom. Awesome. Yeah. All right, now we're going to move on. News. Now you can move on to the news. Yeah. I'm reading my outline. Yeah. It's like making sure. Here we there go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I got to play that again because the sound was down because I still have to manually do the sound difference right. for the intro thing. Whatever. Here we go. Star Trek News. All right, hit us. Just blame, blame it on, uh, blame it on Robert Stack. It's his fault. Blame it's always it his on fault. the rain. It's always fault. So we have got all sorts of news that just came out of nowhere yesterday, like Randy Orton out of nowhere with the RKO, which means nothing to you guys. But... Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. It's okay. So we. It's probably a wrestling. Probably Absolutely, a wrestling it's thing. a wrestling thing. Hey, are you using yes. a different mic? 
Are you using a different mic today? Yeah, I got a new uh, lavalier mic. Okay, that's probably what it is. But when you're too loud, it it cuts out. I think it does. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I will try to keep it under control. Yep. Take it. Take it down a notch. Don't get so excited. Okay. Yes. (laughs) The shame. This is utter shame. Here's the here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, when I hear someone else on this show having audio problems, I can't help but point it out. (laughs) (laughs) I I have been such an audio pain in the ass for the last few weeks that uh, Uh you know I'm like. I'm like, you know that meme where it's uh, Leonardo DiCaprio drinking the beer and he's pointing at the screen? That's yeah. me right now. That's me right now, pointing Perfect. at your audio. Yep. Nice. Yep. Nice. Yeah, exactly, Gentry. You're right. Daniel does look great. I've been meaning to mention I that to you the last great. couple of shows, but, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. He does. <laughs> he does the hair flip and everything. He's That's got sad. no hair, but he's doing it. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Frosted Glamour Shots photo of Daniel? <laughs> in the next Madam Trek cast calendar. Yes, you know? I keep getting asked. Yes. I keep getting asked. When's, where's the calendar? Yeah, people ask. Yeah, I want one yes. signed by Little Ocho. It has to be signed by Little Ocho. Yes. That'll be the international edition. Man, I don't know what the deal is with your oh, audio man. right there. Even when you weren't it's excited, terrible. it just 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 killed you. It just is this. Uh, I'm going to switch it to just my regular. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do yeah. that. We'll play with that too when we play with the restream stuff after the show. Do you need me to? Uh, do you need me to come over and take a look at your setup? <laughs> I got this engineering uh, kit over here. I might be able to reroute your audio through the secondary power coupling. That plastic well, pry bar I, that's I, in I that kit will help. The polarity of my audio. You do. Yeah. You do. Yeah. That's, See, that's that would have been is. a perfect opportunity in that kit to actually have like a plastic thingamajig that does nothing but call it like the. Uh, the, the self sealing symbol, or yeah, or the uh, uh, polarity reverser, hydro, hydro spanner, hydro spanner, yeah, yes. yeah. Hey, yes. you uh, you doing it all 220? Doing oh, it 20. all, doing yes. it all 220. I'm totally confused. I'm that's confused mis- too. That's that's a Mr. Mom reference. Sorry, oh, oh Vol- I don't sorry. Know. yeah, anyway, okay. anyway, never mind. Never mind. I'll explain later. One of the listeners, one of the listeners out there, got it and laughed. Just one. Just one. <laughs> Just one. Just one. Okay. And if you're that, and if you're that guy, let us know because uh, I want to know if anybody got that. <laughs> so, so since we played the uh, the news intro eight minutes ago, uh, the first news story is <laughs> the first news story is the Star Trek Picard final season trailer is out and loving every minute of it. Uh, according to Gizmodo, it is absolutely nuts. If you go watch it, it's great. Uh, there's so much uh, nostalgia and feel goods. We've got so many cool things. Um, we got the return of a lot of our TNG friends, including Beverly Crusher, Will Riker, Deanna Troy, Worf, who is now a pacifist. Oh, oh my gosh. Forge. They say that in the trailer. Yeah, I, I think that's a joke. I think okay. that's a joke. Um, I mean, I hope so. For seven years, for seven years, he had no sense of humor. I'm going to call it now. Uh, That's a joke. That's him telling. (laughs) That's him telling a joke, and for the first time, it's funny. Yeah. Okay. That's what I. That's what I think that is. But we'll see. Lord, I hope so. We'll see. Because like five minutes later, he's throwing. You know, he's throwing fists. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's doing his thing. He's being warped. He Um, says it with a mechleth strapped to his back. So yeah, (laughs) Yeah. Uh, we we also see a couple of classic villains return. Moriarty's back. Laura's back. Um, There's there's just so much. I I even have a piece of feedback that I think kind of fits right now. Um, So I'm going to share it real quick. Came to us from Taryn, and it says the card season three trailer. Oh my god! Just watched that trailer like five times. Moriarty, Laura, Enterprise F. Lots of Wrath of Khan vibes. Still cautiously optimistic, but this looks awesome, Taryn. Mm. So, yeah. Did you guys get to see the trailer? I did. I I did. I watched it on uh, YouTube through Facebook yesterday, and this morning I watched it on um, Paramount Plus. And okay. when I looked it up, uh, I think I looked it up through through the Roku search engine. And they okay. sometimes, when you when you find something, they give you suggestions of related things or related actors. 
And an actor that came up being related to this was Robert Picardo. Okay. So I don't think he's in the trailer. No. However, if the villain, I mean, there were rumors two years ago that he was going to be in Picard and we never heard anything about it. Um, but if one of the big bads for this season is is a uh, sentient hologram, I mean, mm-hmm. it would make it would make sense for him to show. Oh yeah, yeah. At some point, so you you know, I, I just pulled something up, and I think this will be a fun little game to play. Uh, so we had three trailers, right? And we'll talk about all of them individually. But uh, we had a new Picard trailer, a new Discovery trailer, and a new uh, Prodigy trailer. So let's play a game. Over under a hundred thousand views. Okay. Picard trailer. Over. over under, do you guys think over. over? Over. Okay. So currently sitting at four hundred and nine thousand views. Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Discovery season five trailer, first look. Over under a hundred thousand views. Under. Under. Both of you under? Yep. Yeah. You would be correct. It's at 90,000 views. <laughs> yeah. You know why? You know how I know that? You know how I know that? Uh, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it either. Yeah, exactly. I didn't watch it either. Uh-uh. It, you know, not yeah. not to beat this dead horse again, but I just, I don't, I don't care. And, yeah. I think a lo- and I think a lot of people, I read a lot of the comments. Yeah. I didn't watch, I didn't watch it, but I read a lot of the comments and a lot of the comments were isn't this show over? Why isn't this show over? I mean, yeah. there, was a lot, there was a lot of there was a lot of that. So, yeah. Gentry yeah. said it was confusing. Um, it, it was. It was. Uh, well, they, Gentry, they played... it wasn't confusing for me. We'll, we'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, okay, Star Trek Prodigy over under a hundred thousand. Under. Uh let's let's split the vote. I'm going to say over. Okay. It's under eighty-two thousand views right now. Yeah, how many? How many did Discovery have? Ninety. Somewhere. Ninety. Ninety. Okay, so it's it's like neck and neck with Discovery. The yeah. kids show the, is yeah. neck and neck kids with show. Discovery, both of which were right. blown away by Picard. So. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Dan with the sports analysis. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah. That, it's that not. Is, this isn't longer. rocket science. This this just isn't. Yeah. This just isn't rocket science. I mean, we've been we've been beating right. this dead horse so long that it's already made glue that's been used, and are looking for another horse to beat dead to make more glue. They ran out. So it's there just, uh, uh, yeah, we're, disco's done. I don't know how else to word it. Yeah. So, so the Discovery trailer was just a, a quick trailer. There was uh, just some scenes that were that we're going to see ahead of time. Uh, they looked like there was also some sort of puzzle box they're going to be dealing with. Which I thought was interesting, especially in the wake of the new Hellraiser movie being released. Literally so, another mystery box season. Literally. Yeah, literally a mystery box. <laughs> Paul yes. called it. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. Mr. Hipster Spock himself called it. So, yeah. They can't. Well, I, I just. Is, is it is it really? I don't I don't understand. I, I, I just want Discovery to deal with uh, Pinhead and all the Cenobites and. So she likes to show them. I got no idea what that means. I've never watched Hellraiser. Um, anyway, so yeah, me, me neither. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't understand it's a, how it's a wrestling thing. It probably yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't understand how tone deaf you have to be to make yet another season with the exact same type of storyline. Again, when everybody has been complaining about it for years. I mean, how how tone deaf do the executives have to be? How I mean, there there must be just enough of an audience to justify it. Um, there must be something there. I, it ha- I don't get it though. I, I just don't see it. It's just so perplexing. It's yeah. as if you watch. It's as if you watch someone go out and make a uh, a mummy movie, and wanted it to be based around this entire cinematic universe of Frankenstein, the mummy, and everything else. And they went and made four movies right in a row, expecting each one to do better than the last. And it, right, like it's right. this, it's just find brick wall and beat your head against it. That's what you're doing. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't well, know. speaking of a brick wall and beating <clears throat> your head against it, it was also announced that in Star Trek Prodigy, we're going to see the return of a very famous character. Ronnie Cox is returning as uh, Captain Jellicoe. 
Wow. Uh, all, all the kids are going to learn about a four shift rotation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, kids. Get it. Just get it done. We're not yeah. going to talk about your homework. You're just going to do it. Yeah. Take this pad just and go sit in the corner. Get it done. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and, no, and Prodigy, get that, we'll fish, be... get that fish out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Prodigy will be returning in a few weeks on October 27th. So there you go. We're just right around the corner for that. So nice. Not uh, a... And our last news story. Yeah. Go for it. I was just going to say, Prodigy is just not a show I can really watch. I tried and I just can't really. It's, yeah. I mean, it's fun. It's good. Yeah. It's, I'm sure it, it has something for its audience. That's fine. It's it's nothing. I don't think there's anything really wrong with it. Um, you know, the murdering yeah. Janeway on that planet was hilarious. But, um, you know, there's nothing. I don't I don't find anything wrong with it. It's just not. It's just not for me. You know. So and it's not yeah, supposed, to supposed to be for me. It's supposed to be for kids. So it's, it's fine. Yeah, maybe I will too. I'll try but... again at some point. How, how about we try the uh, when it starts back up on the 27th? We'll just see how that sure. that beginning is. Yeah. Sure. And and you know what? Let's do this. Let's not even watch any of the past episodes. We'll just start right there and see if we yeah. can. Yeah, start right there. Yeah. See what happens. That's what I'm doing right. wrong, Gentry. Gentry is absolutely right. That's why I'm not into Prodigy. I'm not drinking while I'm watching it. I need to be drunk and then I'll enjoy it. That we sh- I'm going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to drunk watch it. There you go. There you go. Get get your sippy cup just like a child would. <laughs> yeah. Filled Dan's with vodka to make it go house. quick. Yeah. I I have a plethora of sippy cups in my house. Yes. <laughs> yes. If you put any alcohol in them, you your your wife would freaking kill you. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Probably. All right. And our last news story comes to us from comicbook.com, and it was announced also at the New York City Comic Con that we are going to get a new comic book series starting in March, Star Trek Defiant by IDW, or IDW Publishing. Uh, it's going to be the stories of Worf and his crew on the Defiant. Oh, nice. We also got the lineup of Worf's crew, which is very interesting. So we've got mm. Worf as the head. Uh, we have got Bellana Torres. We've got Spock, Ro Laren, And uh, playing the role of Loki, we have the the android Lore. <laughs> what? Lore is going to be part of Worf's crew. What? Yeah. And when, when does this take place? Uh, well, the comic books will be coming out in March. No, no, I mean, but where, where in the timeline does this? Take uh, place? I, I didn't I mean... see that. It doesn't specifically <clears throat> say. I, I would imagine it's after the events of DS Nine in that nebulous area where they can just kind of dump everything they want to dump and just let it go. All yeah. Right. Yeah. Huh. So. Hard pass. Yeah. Yeah. That. I don't know. Well, so. maybe that's why uh, the Defiant wasn't on uh, Lower Decks last week. It's a good ship. <laughs> a little ship. Worf, Worf was flying it around with uh, with lore. The leftovers, the leftovers from every other Star Trek. Show. That's what it should be called: is the Leftover Squad. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Um, hmm. you, you know what I thought was funny about the Discovery trailer is with Worf. Um, they they've made a big deal about his new sword. And how they got the original creator of the Batleth to design something new, and it was going to be all exciting, and it's so badass. And you mean on the Picard you guys trailer? Are going to be just on the yeah on the Picard trailer. Sorry. Gotcha. Okay, um, just making sure we're on the same page here. And then when, like, he, what? when he unsheaths the sword, and you see it, and it's just a giant mech cliff. <laughs> that's all it bigger, is. Bigger is better, you know. Yeah. yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. So, whatever. All right. All right. So you you said. You said uh, in the trailer, you said that was the, the Enterprise F? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see that. Hmm. Yeah, it, huh. it's quick. It's, it, it, blink and you miss it. It's really quick. But it's okay. Enough. All right. Yeah. I've only watched it once. We, so. we don't know who the captain of the Enterprise F is at this point? No, that not right now. Really? Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll find out on Tuesday. Who's, uh, who's the lady? I got that. Tuesday. Yes. It took a yes. minute. Yes. Yeah. We got that yeah. reference. All right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Gonna, it's going to arrive with the tractor beam and the medical staff. Right. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Took a minute, but I got it. <laughs> that was a deep cut, buddy. That was a deep cut. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You going to do a two twenty? <laughs> you know, if the point of this allows it. 
I'd rather do a 420 than you a know, 220. And then, and then we can... <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> if we're going to go with the references I don't get. <laughs> yeah. I know it's 220 wire. I know. It's a two, for, for 208 <laughs> voltage, I get all that. I'm just. <laughs> Look, man, Johnny Five is alive, and I can't wait till he fights Lord. <laughs> Boom. Just going to mash it all up. Just mash it all yep. up. Let's throw it all together. Yeah. 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 All <sighs> right. So, should we get to the main topic? I guess it is time for the main topic. It's the main topic. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. There you go. <laughs> Round one. Yes. Fight. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love it. Uh, <laughs> so, so we got yeah, peanut we hamper. Any, uh, <laughs> yes. Peanut hamper. <laughs> peanut hamper's back, baby. <laughs> what a weird episode. I mean. It was so weird. It was almost so... uncomfortable. <laughs> it was so no... <laughs> No, it was. It was yeah. by when, design. When, Hawk, when Hawkman starts banging R2-D2, it was, uh, <laughs> it was just weird. You wonder if they're going to go there. Then they start to go there, and you're uh, like, oh, man, fade to black. And then they really go there. <laughs> I mean, yes. Complete with yeah. the uh, screaming, caca! <laughs> yes. God. Yeah. I don't know to... It was yeah. uncomfortable. It was it was weird. I usually watch Lower Decks twice. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> this oh, one, I was kind of like, ah, I'm did you watch it three times? Only needed it one time this time. <laughs> yeah. I watched it. Yeah. Yes, Daniel. I watched it three times. The third time, I made sure I was alone. I, sure <laughs> I, off. I get it. I I lit a candle. It was. Uh... <laughs> I kept waiting for, like, when are they going to cut away from Peanut Hamper's story and show us the yeah. Lower Deckers? Like, when are they going to do that? When are they going to do that? Every <laughs> scene was, when are they going to do that? And they never I, did. You know, it was weird because it was like, is this a is this a backdoor pilot to a Peanut Hamper show that I'm watching? <laughs> yeah. You know, you remember, like, back in the 80s, you'd, you'd tune in for, you know, an episode of Different Strokes, and it was just Arnold in the first five minutes. And and then it was some other family for for 19 minutes and then Arnold for five minutes at the end. And it was a backdoor pilot to some other show that didn't get picked up. And every time you saw it in reruns, you're like, oh, yeah, this is that weird episode. That's what this felt like. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, they did that in the original series, right? With that like Gary seven. So. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, they've done this before, right? When we had the Vulcan lower deckers. A completely different show, yeah. But it was at least still uh, themed with uh, with. I mean, I guess you're right. So look, look. I guess from that standpoint, I don't care if they suddenly do a show that's completely out of left field that we don't even see our main cast of characters, you know, and and it's just something totally different, but still evolves in that universe. I think that's fine. I think that's fun. But this episode really felt like they were all sitting around one night, getting a little drunk, uh, trying to come up with some fun ideas. And when they woke up the next morning because they blacked out, they realized they made two-thirds of this episode and said, screw it, let's just do it. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah. just, that's what it feels yeah. like. It's so it's almost, it's almost so awkward in some places and uncomfortable even, which is funny, and I, I'm sure they thought it was funny, but it just comes out of left field too far. It's too far out of left field. Um, I mean, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't have anything bad to say about it. It was, it was I laughed. I mean... It was, oh, just, like it, was just, it was just it was just it was just out there. Yeah. It was just out there. Yeah. So the, the the general consensus on the internet is very mixed. Some people thought it was hilarious. No. Some people thought it was just terrible. So this was not a well received episode for sure. No, not at all. And yeah. and I will say this though too. So even with all of that said, um, please don't do it again. But at the same time, uh <laughs> kudos for trying something different, right? I mean yeah. and not and no, not giving true. a shit and just going and doing it. Because it could have wound up being amazing and everybody loved it. Um, I think they just missed right. the mark, you know. Um, I don't know if it's them trying too hard either. I don't think they have to try too hard. With this cast of characters that they have and how they've grown it, they could do a stupid throwaway episode that doesn't mean anything with our four main characters um, yeah. without having to do this. So, Right. Well, I don't think it's a coincidence that this came one week after the Deep Space Nine episode no i think no. i think knowing knowing this is a risk they put it right after the episode where everyone is everyone is high, still high on you know seeing seeing the 
the station, seeing the old friends walking around the station. Yeah, I don't. Th- yeah. I don't think that's a that's a coincidence at yeah. all. And then I and then I don't think it's a coincidence that you know the big finish at the end was a quick little cameo by Jeffrey Combs exactly to, like, remind, to remind everybody that. Uh, Oh, he just paused right uh, you there. Know, he is the, the glue that holds star. Right. <laughs> Jeffrey guys? Combs is yeah, – you're good now. Yeah, you just, just, just for, for a second. second. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, I think I would have flipped the release of these episodes, like bring people down to only raise them up. But <laughs> yeah. That's me. Well, the interesting thing about it, the episode two is it could fit anywhere. This could fit anywhere yeah. in their normal timeline of the season. It doesn't it doesn't affect yeah. it anywhere, right? It could, it could just yeah. be thrown yeah. in anywhere. It doesn't matter. So yeah. what do we – okay, so – all things aside, because I don't know how much of this we really have to talk about. I think it is interesting, though, two two or three things here that are interesting to think about. Number one is this society, this civilization, civilization of birds, um, it, birds with abs. Uh, they actually, real. they act, yeah, birds aren't real, right? But they, <laughs> they, um, yeah, they, they actually have a full fledged backstory where they are a star faring species. They they move to that planet. Mm-hmm. That's not where they're from, right? And so technically, it's not a first context scenario. So I thought that was kind of an interesting. They went backwards, right? So I think that was interesting. So yeah, to recap the whole. Well, no, episode, it is. It is first context scenario. It's it's not a prime directive. A correct scenario. Correct. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. 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 So yeah, I mean that's how the whole episode is set up, though. Is is uh, Peanut Hamper still stuck out in space from where they left him? Left her um, from from last season, I guess it was. Uh, and uh, it's just her being a smartass uh, for five minutes, trying to figure out how to leave. They, some scavengers come by, and um, she gets out of there with a warp drive thing she makes, and she crash lands on this planet with the birds. Um, you Here, think me, that uh, she's changed me... her ways. You think that she's changed her ways. I've got the the official log line. Okay, go for it. This will be hilarious. This will be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. How do you? So this is uh, episode 307, a mathematic, mathematically perfect <clears throat> redemption. And the log line is, a wayward Starfleet ensign struggles to find a path to redemption. That's the log line. That's hilarious. Um, yes. That's as bad as the episode. Uh, so that's that's Tom. <laughs> that's Tom Paris's seven-year story arc. <laughs> Pretty much. Yes. But the, that's the whole thing about this. That's the second thing that's unique about this episode. Mm-hmm. She's not. She's literally not right. trying to redeem herself. She could care yeah. less. It's all just a big game to her, right? Yeah. All she's trying to do is just get off the damn planet. She doesn't care how. If it winds up yeah. with those guys coming or what, you know, whatever, you know, she's completely playing everybody. And she can do that because she's a computer oh. and has no feelings and no emotions. It this, doesn't matter. This is, a, this is a cautionary tale about the dangers of AI. That's yep. what this is. We should go shut sure. Elon Let's Musk down real, right real. now. Let's get real, real. Do you have a peanut hamper in your life? <laughs> I have a jar of peanut butter. I don't know what else. I don't know what you mean there you by go. there. You go. Just somebody that might act this way. I, I think I know people. Oh, you know people what? That act this way. Yeah. Give, yeah. Give me five minutes with peanut hamper, and I will solve that. Problem. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz. I'm for not going to repeat for those listening. The chat. For those listening to the audio, I just held up my engineering field kit. And, yeah. Uh, yes. I, I would dis. I would disable peanut hamper. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't do that, and they just go and put it in a in a in a cage in the Daystrom Institute with everybody else. Because like... because she's a sentient life form, you can't just right. and they're above they're above uh, uh, capital punishment. So right. yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. Point. Yeah, you can just unplug them. <laughs> just turn them off for a while. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> the tongue into so, her eye hole thing it just <laughs> yes oh yeah. good grief yeah it was weird uh, there's a it's... meme going around saying mom can we see uh, Avatar 2 <laughs> no we have Avatar 2 at home and it's for people <laughs> nice yeah you know it was it was weird when they arrived at the planet and the um you know they got a bird guy on the Cerritos, the, right? The, the, yeah. Um, the doc, not the doctor. Psychologist. He's the, thank you. Psychologist. Thank Who is sitting on the counselor. bridge again? Yeah, yeah the count- yeah. ship's counselor they got sitting a bird on the bridge. Guy. They got a bird guy right there, and and, and nobody made mention of, uh, you know, 
him. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He could have been like, oh, birds of a feather flock together, and then thrown in some little <laughs> yeah. line in there somewhere. And yeah. Somebody in the background going, birds aren't real. I mean, you know, this is this is all the kinds of things that, that I just, you know, true creatives like us like, would think about. You know, not all bird people know each other. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's like it's like something your grandma would say, which you'd be like, oh, you know, there's a guy at the store. He's Chinese. Do you know him? No, grandma, not all Chinese people know each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would have been good. Yeah. See? Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, hopefully we go. get a... Uh... Hopefully we get something more back to what we expect next week. I'm sure we will. I have no doubt. It's a great show. Lower Decks is fantastic, so yes. I have no doubt. Yep. They'll throw in some weird yep. stuff every once in a while, but it is what it is. Yeah. So. It wasn't bad. It no, wasn't bad. No. It was just It was just weird. It was weird. <laughs> it yeah. was weird. Yep, yep. Very weird. So, all good. Well, why don't we have people put X's in the chat if they want to uh, do feedback, and we can move to feedback. Yep, we'll move into feedback. We have some voicemails to play this week. Um, <clears throat> some catching up to do there with some things. Uh, Gentry sent me some stuff that I didn't see until uh, until I got a polite poke in our Instagram, uh, or not Instagram, there or messenger go. feedback uh, talk last night, or chat. <clears throat> anyway, okay. um, I need more coffee. I, it's sore throat. Anyway, not a sore throat, well, but well, a dry let's throat. Do the, uh, let's do the voicemails first, and then we'll go from everything else. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, here we go. Let's send our feedback. So first, oh, you know what? hold on. Uh, we should do our ad break real quick. Yes, let's do our ad break. <laughs> yes. Okay, now and there it back. is. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so hilarious. first one, uh, and I've listened to some of these ads we get from Spreaker. It's hilarious. Oh, they're so good. They're so. Oh, good. they're they're all over the map. Maybe. They are everywhere. Yeah. I don't even know how to describe it. They're all over the place. Uh, okay, here's the first one from I Gentry. I watched one bad bunny video, and all my ads are in Spanish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So here's the first one from Gentry. Good morning. This is Space Gentry reporting live for the Federation News Network. Today's topic, pandering for listeners, TrekCast in <laughs> Germany. The well-known podcast TrekCast has a devoted and loyal following in Deutschland, and as such, this reporter knew it was time to dig a little deeper into the country and its ties to Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek has a long history with Germany, even being referenced in the original series, and that started a lifelong love for many Germans with the franchise. And even though new Trek has emerged, one study showed that most Germans preferred Captain Kirk 54% to Captain Picard's 31%, while Captain Janeway only got 8% of the vote. No word yet on how the tsunami of Captain Pike would have affected this poll. Most German Trekkies live in the north and east of the country, concentrated in Bremen, Berlin, and Brandenburg. The population of Bremen had a 55% increase in interest in Star Trek over the average German, 44% higher in Berlin. One college in Cologne years ago decided to start giving courses on something both practical and out of this world, Star Trek cooking classes. The community college teacher, Helga Schmidt, was a big Trekkie and decided to figure out how to cook up meals prepared on the show. Her rokeg blood pie and hasperat must have been absolutely amazing. In Bottrop, North Rhine-Westphalia, at the movie park Germany, Germans have built a Star Trek roller coaster. It's the only officially licensed Star Trek roller coaster, and riders first pass through Federation Plaza, which is over 1,000 square meters, I don't know, 3,000 feet or something, <laughs> and is complete with a replica of the Enterprise-D bridge and transporters. I'm Schlatten! That's German for energized. And how much do Germans love Star Trek? So much that in 2004, to celebrate their being online for 10 years, German broadcaster Deutsche Welle actually translated their news website into Klingon, along with 30 other languages. For the 50th anniversary of Trek, Air Berlin decided to get in on the fun by setting up a special flight to mimic Star Trek. Cabin crew members exchanged their typical uniforms for character costumes, and the outside of the plane was painted with the Vulcan salute next to the Star Trek logo. 
For an entire month, the specially decorated plane flew around with special Star Trek headrests playing episodes from the series. They even changed the airsick bags from Spock Tutin to Spock Tutin, just in case the in-flight meal of Gach wasn't fresh. Of course, we all know that in Trek, Zephram Cochran was technically over Germany for 1.4 seconds during his maiden flight on First Conduct Day. And lastly, it was rumored that Guinan kept several bottles of Gewürztraminer and a case of Riesling behind her bar for any time Picard was in the mood for white instead of his typical red. <laughs> That's all for this week's Pander. Reporting for the Federation News Network, I'm Space Gentry. Langer lieben und gudeien! <laughs> right, all of that. <laughs> that is amazing. That was amazing, wow. buddy. He's got a voice. He's got a voice for radio. I tell you what. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. Yeah, he does. He's got the voice for radio, my... and I have the face for radio. It's amazing. <laughs> I better keep my audio in line, or you guys are gonna replace me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, that was fantastic, buddy. Uh, really appreciate yes, that. Sorry. That. Yes, thank you. Sorry, I did not reply to your email on, on October 6th. On October 6th, and I still haven't replied to your emails yet today, as the guys know, and I showed them in our in our messenger chat. I have 1,766 <clears throat> unopened emails just on yeah. Gmail alone. Yeah. Uh, so that, it's hard. That, and I mean, you're just you're the worst. I am so, the worst. You know. I'm just I'm horrible. I'm horrible. If you want things on the show, you should really email Dan Yol. Uh, at, uh, at trekcasttng at gmail.com. Uh, he actually reads emails. <laughs> so, uh, I'm scrolling back to see if I've missed anything about uh, other emails, by the way, because um, I probably have. Anyway, okay. um, Chartable. I did miss this. So uh, this will help. So Gentry, good timing, because in the country of Germany, our ranking has dropped 24 places so hopefully with that um he can boost it back up a hundred percent yeah um but our yeah. dropping of rank 24 spots puts us at what number take a guess somewhere between zero 250? and 250 250 daniel says 250 147 damn dan 140 nice yeah we dropped 24 spots and we're still at 140 in germany oh, wow. uh, we dropped 28 spots in great britain this is probably due to the audio issues we've had that's why <laughs> yes yeah. That's um, a little bit rough yeah yeah so we, we dropped 28 spots uh in great britain to what number pick one between zero and 250 daniel uh 200 dan 247 152. We are still ranked number okay. 152. Man, I was right. going to go 147 right. again. I should have. Yeah, yeah, you should have. You should have. And then, our, <laughs> of course, our audience in Brazil does not care about our audio problems. We actually are up one, and now we're at 189 in Brazil. So Nice. At uh, last. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, amazing. So uh, I can't wait for us to do a live show in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't wait for you to go down there and do it, too. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. They speak Portuguese, took, not Spanish, so that'll be fun. It yeah. took, took five years to get us to Chicago. How long is it going to take to get us to Brazil? 50. I'm going to have to walk. It'll be a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lord. oh, Lord. So here's one from uh, – here's another voicemail from Wednesday. Um, oh, yes. I've got to find this, too. Okay, so I'm going to play this, and then we're going to we're gonna play a second thing from this, this gentleman. Um, okay. If it plays, let's go. Hi, and, of course, not. Um, hold on a second. Okay. Uh, well, while you're doing we that, go. uh, do you want me to go? I got some feedback from social media if you want. Uh, I'm ready, but yeah, go ahead. Whatever. Oh, go, oh, then go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, all it is is sometimes it just plug and unplug the phone and we're good. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi, gentlemen. This is Steve in Southern Illinois. You don't necessarily have to play this on the show, but I just have a, a, a quest and a, uh, a question. First of all, my, uh, question is when are you going to bring back those hot christmas cards they were awesome and i would love to get another one someday uh let's do that second in my request it would just be well with my soul if chad you can play just one time for me to uh play the uh the bumper that i made for you guys 
I just like to hear on the air one time, and then you can throw it in the <laughs> artificial black hole that powers all of the Romulan cruisers. <laughs> that being okay. said, I'll sign off. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Uh, we will play that uh, right. right now. As a matter of fact, I got to go pull it back up because it's, it. it's still in. Uh, I got to find it. Um, and, and who was that? That's Steve okay. from hey. Southern California. Okay. Uh, I think he's uh, he works at a university, so I think he's a professor. Um, I'll just leave it at that. Okay. <clears throat> and I know okay. we've played this at least once because I got this initial clip from him back on July seventh. So, Professor Steve. Professor Steve, yeah. So okay. I know we've played this at least once. Maybe somewhere along the way, uh, he missed it. Um, but then again, maybe I told them we'd play it and then somehow I'm Chad. Uh, so (laughs) (laughs) here we go. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the cast. (laughs) Nice. Maybe I haven't played that. Nice. I Maybe like somehow that. I haven't yeah. played that. That is amazing. Yeah. No, you um, haven't. That's great. I don't think I have. I love it. That's freaking awesome. Yeah. I got to make sure that we use that. Yeah. Yeah. Throw that in. Throw that in randomly every now and then. I will. I uh, yes. I apologize, Steve. Um, I could have sworn that I've played that, but man, after listening to it, I haven't. Um, so apologies. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Anybody who ever wants to make these sound clips, send them in. Um, make sure that you're sending them to both of us because you know, again. Uh, my other Chad's email accounts, yeah, my other email accounts is twenty two hundred email addresses. I or emails I haven't opened, yeah. so yeah, I am literally the worst. <clears throat> um, okay, next uh, voicemail. Welcome to Star Trek Lower Decks, season three, episode seven: A Mathematically Perfect Redemption. Being that hampered Birdman, get it. <laughs> if you would like your favorite episode reviewed, <laughs> write it on a post-it and send it to Chad. <laughs> oh, indeed, baby. So that was a Packlet review, I'm assuming? <laughs> Kinda, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think uh, even the Packlets, even the Packlets are like, huh? Yeah. Yes. I should get an yes. audio clip of the caca moments and use it, just randomly throw caca. that into the show. Caca. Yes. I thought about that uh, when I, I watched the episode last night and I was like, I'm real. so confused. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just one drone with another drone, really. You know. This is true. true. There's nothing. That's true. What do you call There's no bestiality involved here. It's just two yeah. robots. So yeah. when two <laughs> robots love each other, they just get together. That's right. Who are we to judge? Love. I mean. (laughs) How dare you? How dare you judge their love? (laughs) Oh, Lord. Uh, So we did have some feedback on the social media. Uh, Shell Rands said, uh, this was about the Star Trek Picard trailer. Uh, Will Lore adopt the Soong name as to preserve the Soong dynasty? Hmm. I don't think he cares. I don't think he yeah, cares yeah. either. It's all about him. Yeah. And him forever mm-hmm. because he can never die. So there is only one lore. So have they given up on digitally de aging uh, Brent Spiner? Because lore sure looks like it. Lore's looking kind of old. <laughs> yeah. I'm He's sure they'll have a reason for it, that. Maybe that's all going to be explored in the, the Defiant comic book with him and Lore and all that. <laughs> It's really so, a prequel. Yeah, so I don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of. All right. So the last time we saw Lore, he was uh-huh. deactivated. This is when he was running around, um, you know, with a pack of Borg. With a pack of on, Borg, uh, yeah. On that planet, and he was deactivated. So we assume that he went where? I mean, was he kept in engineering on the Enterprise D? Because if that's the case, he was he was destroyed. In generations, when the star drive section blew up, um, oh, I'm sure they shipped him off to the Daystrom Institute just like they would anything else, and and just ripped him apart and studied him. Yeah, yeah. And then somehow he got um, out because what's his name? What's the guy from Into Darkness who made the gigantic version of an Enterprise with the uh, what was his name? Robo oh, Robocop. Robocop. Yeah, Robocop? Peter yeah, Welling. Robocop did that. What yeah. in the world is that, Chaz? What I why do I need to see that in the chat? What's that? 
I, I don't know. It's uh, a picture of a guy with a really is, big yeah. gut using something to press against it. I don't. Okay. Yeah, I don't. We're done. Yeah. I don't know. So, so the two, the two big, <laughs> the two big baddies for Picard season three, Moriarty mm-hmm. and uh, and Lore. I mean, both of them. The last time we saw them, they were. I mean, Moriarty was in the Rubik's cube, and he was given to uh, what's his name. Jeez. Not Barkley, but um, Barkley. Yeah, yes. Barkley. Yeah, Barkley. He was yeah. given. He was given to Barkley. So same thing. If Barkley kept him in engineering, he was destroyed in generations. If he kept him in his quarters, he survived because crew quarters are on the uh, on the saucer section. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm just interested. In, I don't know why. I don't know why I circled back to this. I'm interested to see how these two characters survived and and how we're seeing them again. Warning! Warning! Nerd okay. alert! Thank you. (laughs) Anyway. So what's weird, though, is they entered. This is one thing I don't like about trailers in general nowadays. Trailers, for some reason, people seem to think they have to take the entire movie and put it into a one minute section. And that's your trailer. Yeah. And so they give up everything. They, you know, they tell you everything. Like they could have, they could have just used Moriarty's voice and someone saying lore without showing them if they really wanted to go there. But honestly, they could have just not even yeah. done that at all. Um, and all they ha- and now, now, why is it that the uh, the evil, uh, what is his name? Um, not Goldfinger, but uh... <sighs> Goldmember. Yeah, Goldmember. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Doctor Evil's. Um, right hand henchman lady who loved him is flying a starship like who the hell is this oh, that's who that is or or whatever. yeah that's not her is it that's her yeah that's her that's her yeah that's she's, her. Gonna, be, she's gonna be the main bad guy what well, so we got three main bad guys all into one Do trailer know who she is no i don't have a clue yeah they said her honey name I, I forget what it is it's honey bunny that's but her name so- <laughs> yes she, she's got something against the card crew and she's going after them. That's all we know. We don't know much more than yeah, that. Yeah, and she's probably throwing sure Moriarty and Lore at them. That's, I mean, that's where Moriarty yeah. and Lore come in is they're throwing the, those. She's throwing those two at them, I guess. But uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be probably one offs, like one episode, and that's about it. So that's why, my guess. Yeah, I don't so know. I, I just it's it's such a it's it's a it's a fun trailer from the standpoint of holy crap, but it's also like yeah. wow. Uh, Show me the entire thing without showing me the entire thing. You just did. Well, l- 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 let me get into this piece of feedback, and then it'll get. Yeah, I'll sorry, sorry. We're still talking feedback, and okay. I'm just okay. yeah. So, yeah. so we're all we're all so over Ty, the place. Yeah, Ty J said, "I love seeing these characters, but I have a bad feeling that they're going to screw this up like they did the first two seasons." I mean, it's the same people making the show, right? So, yes, it is the same people making the show, and not. Let me explain this. So Star Trek or Star Trek Card season three has a new showrunner, meaning the person who runs the entire thing. Uh, it is going to be Terry Metalis, who has worked on Star Trek before. This guy has worked on Voyager and Enterprise, and they brought him in for season three specifically. So okay. while yes, Kurtzman and all those guys are still producers, really it, it, it's Terry running the show. So. I don't know All if that right, helps you guys. Don't screw it up, Terry. Yeah. Come on, Terry. Get get it together. Get, get it together, Terry. This is important. Yeah. It's already done. I mean, it's too late. Yeah. Whatever Terry's done, Terry's done. It's in the past. And we just have to forgive him right now before we even watch it. <laughs> Terry. And just, yeah. I did the same <laughs> <Yes>. thing as <laughs> you did. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> the side of the cross, Terry. You, you... Yeah, yeah. I do appreciate, though, when you watch a trailer and then you watch the movie and the trailer does represent the movie, but doesn't tell you anything other than maybe a slim sliver of the idea. And it leaves something to the imagination. It leaves something there for you to discover, because I feel like all we're discovering in this, all we're going to discover when watching the season 
is how they piece together what we just saw in the trailer. Like we know the entire story at this point. Now we just get to watch how they piece it together. It's like saying, I'm going to go and buy a book off the shelf. Yeah, I'm going to go buy a book off the shelf. But before I buy this book off the shelf, instead of just reading little synopsis, I'm going to read the entire outline of the book. And then I'm going to go read the book to see how that outline gets filled in. That sucks. Mm -hmm. I wish people would stop doing that. Yes. So. Anyway. <clears throat> All right. Oh, is that from the show with him where he was like he could read people's facial tics, Chaz? Is that, is that where the honey bunny comes in with him? He put a thing in the chat, um, the on-air chat anyway on Discord. Oh, I'll let him answer me because uh, that was a great show. I don't think that's it, though. I think that's before that. Pulp lie Fiction. Pulp, yeah, Lie to Me. That was an excellent show. I don't know why that show got canceled. I loved it. Well, probably because I don't know if people were watching it, obviously, but I was watching it. I loved Lie to Me. Um, Pulp Fiction, that's mm -hmm. right. She was in Pulp Fiction. The lady who's uh, the yeah. captain of the uh, the uh, trying to go after Picard and crew. Yeah, that's right. Tell that She's bitch nuts, be though. cool. That's all they have to do is tell that bitch be cool. Yeah, yeah. Tell that bitch be cool. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they can find their wallet, it's Brad Leatherbound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. All right, uh, should we bring on people who want to who want to X up? Yeah, X up in the uh, in the chat here if you want to come on and tell us your thoughts on anything and everything we've been talking about so far. Of course, Jazz is going to X up. There we go. Jazz, you're first. Jazz Biz, yes. Yeah. Jazz Biz, Jazz you are now time. unmuted. Tell us your thoughts, my friend. Well, that, that was a very, very, very strange episode. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It, it definitely was Rick and Morty-ish. It really was, wasn't it? If, if you want... Yeah, if you watch Rick and Morty, you could see either Morty falling in love with a bird and going to live his life, then Rick messes it up, or vice versa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's like, cause Rick I and two watching, crows. Like, <laughs> yes, two crows. <laughs> I, I'm just happy the bird wasn't a woodpecker, or that had been a little weird. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was a strange scene when he started, he pulled out the knife. The dad actually pulls out the knife and starts to scrape the mud off her. And she's like, oh, yes, right there. And to the left a little. <laughs> she has no feelings. What is this? Yes. Well, it's funny because you, you thought she was going to have a redemption arc. Then you found out, like, nope, she's she's still evil. <laughs> she's just horrible. Yeah, she's just a horrible person. Yeah. Yeah, she's just horrible. Yep. She's very unlikable i kind of so. i kind of liked that though honestly like oh, that yeah. was the nice little yeah. twist that i was kind of like ah oh, they stuck to who that character is it's just a total ploy wow yeah throw her in a yeah. locker and having jeffrey combs at the end really yeah. was awesome so you didn't have jeffrey combs <laughs> on for a while so that was great so yeah. i have a feeling that Tina hamper will probably be back maybe not next season maybe the season after so well, if anything, I hope it means we get Badgie back. Yes, that's I'm sitting there thinking that's like maybe Badgie. Well, yeah. we'll probably put Badgie in there with Peanut Hat, Camper, and Jeffrey Combs, and then they'll all get together and have like some kind of Super Smash Squad. Mega, yes, <laughs> Robot Apocalypse. <laughs> They'll be the Suicide Squad on Lower Decks. Yes. <laughs> Be the new defiant crew that warps recruiting <laughs> or IDW. God. You know, that would be hilarious if they trolled if they if they're watching that and they see that comic and they're oh, scratching yeah. their head and then they just make an episode to completely troll it. That would be hilarious. Yeah. That would be just, just the best. Like every leftover character you could probably think of. I'm surprised Barkley's not on that crew. <laughs> I mean <laughs> Yeah, Lore, Ro. Roy Laren and Bolana Torres and Worf all together. It's like this is stupid. Throw, throw who, in who the, wants uh, that? The other, who was the other Vulcan in Voyager? Throw him in there. Oh, that's was right. It, there was one. Too long, but it was the, the other. One. Yes, the other guy. Yeah, yeah, the one that Vork. had on fire. Yeah, Vork. Yeah, Vork. Yeah, Vork. And said, so, throw yeah. him in there. And, oh, and then um, Worf's son. Alexander, let's throw him oh, in there. We don't, we don't talk about him. We don't talk no. about Rajenko. Yeah. yeah. And then no, no, maybe no, a little no. Wesley Crusher in there. So, yeah, make, he's a super space-traveling wizard now, that. though. He's a space-traveling wizard. We don't, you know, we don't need yes. any more Crusher. 
But well, remember, you know, according to Wesley, he's the belle of the ball. They all want him on their shows. Yes, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. But they just can't figure out a way to fit it in. They just can't figure it that's out. Like, that's like oh, letting that girl down who keeps asking you out. And you're like, I would love to go out with you, but I just, I, I, I got this ball game going on. And the thing with the, I just can't, I don't know what, I don't have any time. I'd love can't. to, I just can't. I can't do yeah. it. Now, if, if he comes in at the end of Picard, you know, because it's the, Final season of Picard and rescues Picard. All I'm done. <laughs> Is he going to be in this hey, next season? Hey, you're him? never, you're never done. You're never done. <laughs> so we say you're done. <laughs> right. We are going to suffer, and you're going to suffer right along it's with like us. A, it's like a gang. You can't, you can't quit. You can't quit. You can't just quit. You have to like beat me out of the game. <laughs> Isn't that what Starfleet is? You can't quit Starfleet. You can't quit the Federation. You can't leave. Uh, you, once you're in the Federation, you're in. You are hooked, and you can't leave. And, and then season season three, and you see Raffi, and you're like, oh, please limit her role. Please, please, please do not have her in there. I was like, because the best character in there, they killed off last season with Rios. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so you don't have Rios anymore. Now you you're stuck with Raffi and seven of nine and they kind of ruined well, seven in a way. We still have all his holograms running around. So he could be back. Yeah, That's, yeah. that's a good point. Oh, R- Rios is not only in the past, but he's in an alternate timeline. Yeah. 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 You're like right. they're, they're not bringing him back. No, which is stupid. I mean, maybe he yeah. just didn't want to do it anymore. I don't know. But why would you kill? I don't know. That just seemed so. I don't know. Well, well Terry like... didn't want him. <laughs> Terry did not want him, and so they got rid of him. <laughs> they filmed... Soji. Yeah. They filmed season three. Was it before season two even aired? Right. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. So or at the same time of filming. All this stuff's been filmed, and you wonder, it's like, have they done reshoots or anything? Like, changed up mm. the storyline? Because if last season if, wasn't. If I remember. Great. Because we did the story back when it happened. They literally stopped filming season two on a Friday, took the weekend off, and then came back Monday to start season three. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That sounds right. Yeah. Because they wanted to do them back to back and get them done, which, yeah. you know, not to put too fine a point on it or, or make it sad for a moment, but, you know, how long are we going to be able to have Patrick Stewart being able to play yeah. the role, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. If they wanted to right. finish it and said season three was it, we better just do it now, you know, um, before he's unable to right. do it. Um, whether that's whether yeah. that's because of energy or acting or wellness or anything else or just unwilling, right? And maybe he's yeah. tired yeah. and done. Maybe he's looked at the feedback of what he helped write for the first two seasons and said, I'm done with this. And he's just put yeah. out because, you know, originally I remember back when this whole thing got started and he was invented into the writer. He was uh, invited into the writer's room. He helped write season one. He didn't want all the original cast back with him. He just wanted it to be about Picard. And now look where we are. So, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah. And like he took him out to dinner and said, hey, you guys aren't going to be in this. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> but he yeah, did. Yeah, sorry, he did. Yeah, exactly. Which yeah, was a mistake. You just see Warp like just like his heart just crushed. It's like yeah. I wanted to cling on show so bad. Michael Dorn over there going, Give me a pint of ice yeah. cream now. He just ruined my life, Patrick. Yeah. He starts <laughs> eating meat because he's a vegan. He was just mad. <laughs> I'm mad now. Bring me a steak. <laughs> Screw it. All right. Well and thanks, then, uh, Chaz. Oh well, one more thing. I'm sorry. What'd you have? The disco. What is the mystery box, the Rubik's Cube, that she's opening at the end? No idea. Doesn't it's matter. It's the Omega configuration. It's the Omega particle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can you guys do a live show, like, where you do a watch-along, all three of you, and do it like Mystery Science Theater? And watch <laughs> do we have, that do I have to? Uh, legally, <laughs> we cannot do like, that. Oh, funny, like, you guys drink beers, watch the show live, and just... Either destroy it or like it. Doesn't matter. Well, we can do that, but we can't show the episode no, like thus right. superimposed over it. Watch, a, watch along. Yeah, we just count know. down. Everybody hit play at, at you know three, mm-hmm. two, one. Hit play, and then it's we're all yeah. watching it. And making yeah, sure, we can do that. We've talked about doing that in the, in the mm-hmm. past. It's just a tiny yeah. thing. 
Because that would be yeah. funny just to watch, because nobody wants to watch Discovery anyways, and that's probably a way to watch it. <laughs> yeah, the YouTube never show that. <laughs> they definitely because show usually, that. like last season of Discovery, I just had it on in the background because I, I, I hated it so much. I was like, I gotta mm. finish Star Trek, but it's just, ugh, it was a slug. So yeah, it'll be a slug fest again whenever it comes up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, don't forget yeah. about our sponsor, Toink. Um, Daniel, you've got the cue card to read for that, uh, all the free stuff, cool stuff. I've got the uh, thing I got last week behind me. Um, Scott Bowder nice. uh, sent me batteries uh, to put into it because I didn't have batteries last week, and he sent me the Post-it notes so I could have the outline of what we do in order that's right here in front of me on my monitor. Uh, so thank you very much for that, Scott. I haven't forgotten. Uh, when I first got it, I was like, oh, my gosh, this came from Toink. My wife, like, put the thing in, like, the other Toink yeah, box, yeah. and I was so confused. And then I took a picture of it and sent the guys, and Daniel's like, hey, Chad, actually read the damn card. It says Scott right there at the bottom. I'm like, oh, crap, okay. <laughs> so, uh, but I have that, and I'm going to take yeah. a little video of me putting the battery batteries in and having it come on and show you all the sound effects and do all that on my daughter awesome. with it, and then, then we'll post that up. Because it's, uh, it's supposed to have oh, yeah. these three different modes set and all this cool stuff. So I want everybody to hear it. It's, uh, I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to put it on the door. Then I'll know when That's like awesome. the wife and kids are coming out here, and then I can like minimize all the games and bring up all the work stuff. There you so go. Let me know if uh, <laughs> if you have any trouble uh, getting it to work, because if you do, I'll come over with my engineering kit and fix it for you. Because beautiful, I have this. Try yeah, to get in the I shuttlecraft my, uh... and fly on over now, man. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. So so Toink, where fandom lives. Uh, they've got free pins if you buy fifty dollars or more, and free shipping in the U.S. They also currently have uh, buy three get one free drinkware, kitchenware, puzzles, pins, and more. You can definitely mix and match as well. So tons of cool stuff there. You know, you can get everything from Brick and Morty to Jurassic Park to Ghostbusters. It's where fandom lives. They got all sorts of stuff. Toink. Awesome. Com. All right. Good stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Anything else we need to cover well, this week? I, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're, we're good. All right. Um, yeah, we'll be back next week. We got another episode of Lower Decks. It's wrap, It's winding down pretty quick. So. <laughs> love yeah. to Germany, Gentry says. Love to Germany. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love to Germany, of course. Yes. All right, I'm gonna hit the outro. Here we go. And Brazil. And Brazil. <laughs> Well, there you have have another episode in the can. (laughs) Check us out at TrekCast.com. Also, if you would, please subscribe to us via iTunes. Leave those reviews. Subscribe to us. We'll get some numbers. Get up the list. Get more listeners. Do more shows. Have more fun. But for now, we're all done. So live long and prosper, and we'll see you next week.